2023 will mark 60 years since the first ever episode of Doctor Who was broadcast on our TV screens, and as in keeping with tradition, we will be getting a 60th anniversary special. So here is everything we know about Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. Now, I did say they'd be keeping in tradition with having a special for the 60th, well, in fact, they will be taking a slight break from tradition because they will not be having one special, not two special, but in fact three specials for the 60th anniversary, all of which will feature David Tennant reprising his role as the Doctor, as well as Catherine Tate reprising her role as Donna Noble. All three of these specials will presumably be written by Russell T. Davis, the returning showrunner who was announced in September of 2021. The first special will be directed by the best Doctor Who director of all time, Rachel Talele, and the third will be directed by experienced newcomer Chanya Button. The second special doesn't currently have a known director attached to it, although I wouldn't be too surprised if Rachel Talele was also directing that one as well. So let's talk about the cast of the specials. Obviously, as mentioned earlier, David Tennant will be reprising his role as the Doctor. However, he's probably not playing the 10th Doctor and more likely playing a new incarnation of the Doctor. I have a whole other video about this, so you can go and search it out if you want to. Donna will be returning, obviously played by Catherine Tate, but along with her, we have her family. Jacqueline King was spotted on set reprising her role as Sylvia Noble, Donna's mother, and more importantly, Bernard Cribbins was spotted on set reprising his role as Wilfred Mott, which is just horrendously exciting. He is in his 90s now, so it's amazing he's even come back to do this. We also know that Carl Collins will be reprising his role as Donna's husband, Sean Temple, from the end of time, and in a new addition to the Noble family, we have Yasmin Finney joining the cast as Rose, not Billy Piper's Rose recast, but a new character called Rose, who is Donna and Sean's daughter. And that's just extremely interesting and gives you an idea of how far after the end of time this story takes place. The other only confirmed member of the cast we have is Neil Patrick Harris, Hollywood star playing what seems to be the main villain of the three specials who we believe to be the toy maker. Yes, the toy maker from the 1960s with William Hartnell, who I have previously said I would love to see back many times, and it seems like he's back. So what do we know about this? Well, in his official announcement, we got our first official promotional picture for the 60th, which featured Neil Patrick Harris in what seemed to be his character's costume. As many people pointed out, he looked very much like he was some sort of maker, and the toy maker was a very quick suggestion by people. The very next day we saw them setting a setup, which was a toy shop, which was supposedly supposed to look like a street in London. It even said Toy Maker of the Year on the side of it. What more evidence do you need? And then Neil Patrick Harris was spotted filming in a completely different costume to his first promotional picture. It was a suit look as opposed to the toy maker-ish look he had before. It seemed almost like he was a circus ringmaster in a way and he had a top hat and he was dancing around chaos in the streets and he looks great and I feel like he's going to be a phenomenal villain. But all of this basically confirmed he is the toy maker somehow. We don't know how, why, but he is the toy maker and I am so excited for it. And whilst we're on the subject of the toy maker, that is the special we have the most indication of actual plot about. There were extras on set and they all seemed to be attacking each other, looting shops, fighting in the streets. And then we had someone on set who was there say they heard something along the lines of about 12 hours ago everyone in the world just started fighting each other. Obviously this is probably something to do with the toy maker, he was seen dancing around throughout the crowds like he just completely owned them. He even tried dancing with the doctor at some point which was hilarious to see being filmed. But it's not just that, another element was thrown into the mix because then we got some more filming of this same shop, except all the actors, all the extras were now in period clothing. There were period cars driving about, but the Doctor and Donna had just come out the shop in their clothes like they were in the modern day into this just 1920s-esque looking place, which is very interesting because it implies there's a bit more timey-wimey stuff in this story than we may have first thought. It appears that the Doctor and Donna go into this shop and then come out in a different time zone. I don't know if the toy maker will follow, but if I had to guess, I'd say that the toy maker appears in this 20s-ish setting in his other look that we saw in the other promo picture. 
It's also very likely seeing as this is the third special, the toy maker is the main villain of all the specials, which means he is most likely the one responsible for causing the Doctor to look like David Tennant once again. It was also in the filming of this special that we heard the Doctor and Donna talking about Mel. We don't know whether they're referring to THE Mel, as in the sixth Doctor companion Mel, or just another character called Mel, but it was very interesting as they definitely seem to be referring to a specific Mel. Does this mean Mel appears at some point? Maybe, but not in the third special. If she is going to appear, she's most likely appearing in the second special, but this is in no way confirmed in any capacity. We just heard them talking about a character called Mel in the filming of the third special. Also in this special's filming, something we also saw for the filming for this first special, Unit also showed up as well. Unit seemed to be a big part of this, and they've got a new sort of armoury look for their soldiers, lots of set photos of them with trucks and things, so it seems Unit will be a big part of these David Tennant specials. And speaking of the first special, I mentioned earlier that Unit was spotted on set for it, but also we have an indication of who the villains of the first special is going to be, or more specifically the monsters of the first special. And they will be Beep the Meep, and the Wraith Warriors. The Wrath Warriors, no one quite knows how to pronounce that. If you are unfamiliar with the ridiculous sounding Beep the Meep, he is adorable though. He was a villain, spoiler alert by the way, first seen in the pages of the Doctor Who magazine comic, The Star Beast. He is a cute fluffy animal thing which was being pursued by these intergalactic police type people known as the Wraith Warriors. Now we saw this filming image of the Wraith Warriors filming on the street. They looked like they might be a new monster, people might have been making connections, but then we saw this, a picture of what appeared to be Beep the Meep and people put two and two together and said, it's Beep the Meep and the Wraith Warriors, they're adapting the Star Beast. Now we know from the RTD's first era that he did like to adapt certain expanded media stories to television. Dalek was an adaptation, Age of Steel was supposedly an adaptation of spare parts, but very loosely. Family of Blood was an adaptation, Blink was even an adaptation, so we know it's not out of the realm of possibilities. And speaking in the most recent Doctor Who magazine interview, he talked about the fact that there would be some familiar monsters glimpsed, who would be familiar specifically to readers of Doctor Who magazine. Familiar but new, whatever that means were his exact words, which all but confirms this is Beep the Meep and the Wraith Warriors. Now that's very interesting and exciting, and these were all mostly glimpsed on some sort of night shoot. There were unit soldiers there fighting the Wraith Warriors, Beep the Meep was there, the Doctor was in a taxi, he was driving it around. That taxi has been spotted everywhere they're filming. It was spotted when they were filming in Camden. But all of the stuff for the first special revolves around this taxi, and this night shoot with Beep the Meep and the Wraith Warriors. Some people were also supposedly told this was for a Christmas special, most likely for this year, and whilst that is unconfirmed, I would say it is probably quite likely that that is the case. And that's everything we know about Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. Although it's not a huge, huge amount, it's a good indication of the plot and a good indication about what's going on, and it's all very exciting. Whatever you think, leave your thoughts down in the comments section below, but in the meantime, I've been Cyberman now. please remember to like and subscribe, but from me for now, it's goodbye.